One of the most fun but also difficult parts of making a game is level design. To make it easier though, we have now released the brand new Terrain Tools package, which is now available in Unity 2019.1. So in this video, we're going to check out the Terrain Tools package in Unity and see how we can make it easier for you to do level design and how to use it. Now, first and foremost, what is the new Terrain Tools package? Well, it's in addition to the new terrain system that we introduced back in Unity 2018.3. This package contains over 15 new sculpting tools, as well as a utility toolbox to streamline terrain workflow. So now let's jump into Unity and see what's new. So to begin with, we're going to need to import the Terrain Tools package into our project. We can do that by going to Window, and then open up the Package Manager. In here, let's click on Advanced and make sure that we have the Show Preview Packages option turned on. Now let's pick the Terrain Tools package in the list and press Install. Once Unity finishes installing the package, we will see a new button appear in the Package Manager. If we press this, it will take us to the Asset Store where we can import a collection of sample assets to our project. This asset pack is made by our environment team at Unity and it includes content like new brushes for sculpting terrains and some terrain textures so you can get started with painting right away. So let's import the asset pack as well. Great, now that we have imported both the Terrain Tools package and the sample asset pack, we're ready to go. Next step is creating a new terrain. On top of the new sculpting tools and brushes, the Terrain Tools package also features a new way of creating terrains. We can simply head over to Window, Terrain, and then Terrain Toolbox. Terrain Toolbox is the new terrain workflow window where we can edit terrain settings like width, height, and length, set up presets for terrains, and do so much more. But for now, we're just going to click Create at the bottom, which will create a terrain in our scene. Awesome! So now that we have a terrain game object in our scene, let's go ahead and select it. If we now unfold the feature list in the terrain component, we can see the newly added features. For instance, we have the new branch called Sculpt, which includes features such as noise sculpting, and we have some more branches like Erosion. Furthermore, we have a new set of brushes available too. It's also worth mentioning that the terrain brushes in Unity are simply 16-bit textures. That means you can create new brushes using any of your favorite paint or image editing applications when using certain import settings. For example here, I'm raising the terrain using the new brushes. And we can see that the new brushes make the raised parts look more realistic as they introduce more details. In order to add even more details, I use the noise sculpting tool and paint around my terrain. Now this is just an example of how powerful both the new brushes and the tools are. Finally, let's also take a quick look at how you can set up shortcuts for using the new terrain sculpting tools using Unity's recently added shortcut manager. Let's open up the shortcut manager by going to edit and click shortcuts. In here, we're going to pick the terrain field so that we see only the terrain related actions. And let's set up a new shortcut for selecting the noise brush by double clicking the shortcut field and pressing a key on our keyboard. For this one, I think I'm going to go with the shortcut B. So now, whenever I press the B key, it will select the noise brush introduced with the Terrain Tools package. So that is the new Terrain Tools package, which is now available through the Package Manager in Unity. And we have also left a link in the description box of this video, which is going to take you to the blog post, which contains more information about the Terrain Tools package, so make sure to check that out. Also, are you going to set up any shortcuts via the Shortcut Manager for using these new brushes? Because honestly, I personally don't really have any favorites, so let me know what you're using in the comment section below, and I'll try your suggestions. So with that being said, we hope you enjoyed watching this video and find the new Terrain Tools package useful. We look forward to seeing your comments on this video and to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.